Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, this little video, what I want to talk about is alternative power sources. Now, as we know that, you know, solar really at the end of the day is probably one of the most commercially available sort of systems. Um, the reason why I say that is I need to find a alternative power source in winter. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna throw that out there to the community because as you can see behind me, this is where my um, hydro plant was gonna be sitting. And a lot of people have been asking about what's going on about the hydro plant. Now, as you can see behind me, we don't get rain or anything like that. It's certainly a source of power and very good power at that because it's continuous but very seasonal. So what I want to do is really throw it out to the community is that over summer solar really is the best alternative of, in alternated power or alternative power. I want to see who's out there and has done something about a, um, a wind generation and actually getting enough power out to charge batteries through an inverter and things like that. And if anyone's got any ideas or websites or anything like that to, to direct me, I would really love to be interested. Um, another one which I'm finding to be really beneficial, but I cannot find any information that sus could sustain a homestead or a, or a house, which is a part of the Stirling engine which is based on uh, thermula, sort of like on an open fire or something like that. There's a lot of units out there that are only generating maybe one, 1 1.2 volts. Um, so I just can't see how that's really going to be beneficial over a winter period. And I suppose, you know, when we're talking about thermal, what I'm also thinking about, is there anything out there that has a thermal property or some sort of turbine that sits on top of a flue um, as a chimney let's say that as the hot air rises through the chimney um, is there something out on the market which would then turn some sort of impeller to an alternative um, or a magnetic alternator um, to then come back into the house so these are sort of the sort of alternative ideas that I, I really want to start exploring. So summer, like I said before, is perfect with solar. Works without a doubt and the system that we've installed, I'm really happy about. But I really want to find a winter, a power, a winter power source. Um, so if anyone's got any ideas out there, um, even if it's based on um, hot water, um, I am going to be installing a, an oven which has a water jacket. So I'm going to have an opportunity to have hot water available um, for those winter months. And is there something out there in that th thermal sort of property concept um, that will be able to generate power from a magnetic alternator, but large enough to charge batteries? Um, and I suppose that's what I'm really looking at. Like I've seen a lot of these little thermal volt units you know uh, up to one and a half sort of volts but not sustainable like you would need the size of a football field to really get enough power out of them um, so they're, they're the sort of things that I'm looking at we are really really struggling and I understand that you know a lot of companies would be buying patents and you know what we're going down and the idea is free energy um, but with those patents you know people are putting them on shelves and and not releasing them out to the public so i suppose this what this call out is is really about has someone seen something or is using some sort of alternative power source which is beneficial and and then i can start deviating from my plans a little bit um, as a part of building a new house and things like that, which would incorporate these sort of um, options. So I just wanna, like I said, any information would absolutely be really well appreciated. Um, so I can have a look and maybe even build or whatever it may be 
um, some concepts and things like that. So yeah, please, any information would be absolutely fantastic. Now, I've also come across a, and I don't normally do this, but I've come across a YouTube channel um, called the Food Forest Namibia. I think I'm saying that right. Namibia, something like that, um, which is over in Africa. And they're going through the motions of really putting in a community based, a plot of land based on food forests and swales and things like that. So if you have a you know, spare five minutes, have a look at their channel. And, um, and I think that they all the, you know, with all their likes and subscribes and, and things like that, that that would go a real long way for those communities getting together, trying to build something up. But again, coming back to um, our alternative power sources, Please just send whatever you, whatever crazy concepts that you might have. And I don't even mind if Mads is sitting on a bicycle generating power that way. But you know, it's something of the sort where we can have some sort of long-term consistent power source over a winter environment where we're expecting that, you know, that we won't get much solar coming through. So all about trying to help me find a power source for winter, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.